So today I'm gonna to show you how to make these roasted potatoes, at least that's what they look like, right? Uh, in the Instant Pot to start it off, and we're gonna finish them off in a frying pan on the stove, which is going to crisp them up and give them that beautiful golden brown exterior. So I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after my chef joke. I'm gonna start off here with chef joke number one, and we'll have chef joke number two a little bit later, so stay tuned for that. All right, so why do potatoes make great detectives? because they always keep their eyes peeled. So I'm using gold potatoes. You could use russet if you wanted to, but I think the gold works the best. And you're gonna to wanna to take these and peel them. I'm using organic potatoes, by the way. Once your potatoes are peeled, you just wanna cut them in half lengthwise. So just like that. Now with my Instant Pot, I'm gonna put the little, you know, grate in there, and I'm gonna add a couple of cups of water, because you need to have some liquid. And I have a basket that I purchased uh, online, and I'll leave a link for you down in the description if you're interested in checking that out. It's a nice little basket that, you know, you can just set in there, and I'm going to place my potatoes in there. If you don't have a rack like that, you can try and set them on the grate that's in there, and it might work. All right, and we'll just place our lid on here. Make sure that our pressure release valve is in the right position, and I'm going to pressure cook these for nine minutes. And when it's done, we're gonna do a quick release. We're not gonna do a slow release. We're gonna get those out of there right away because we don't want them to overcook. Potatoes are cooking, so it must be time for chef joke number two. Here we go. What do you call a potato after it's been sliced? Once the Instant Pot is done, I'll turn it off, and then we're gonna release the pressure. Once that valve pops down, you're good to go. Take off your lid, and your potatoes are done. We'll let that cool for a minute, and then I'll take the, the basket out of the Instant Pot. Okay, I'm gonna lift the basket, hopefully carefully, out of there. Whoops, stay in there now and let these cool for just a few minutes so that we can cut, I need to cut them one more time. After cooling these for five minutes, now we can handle them and you can cut them any way you want. Just make sure that your pieces are, you know, relatively thick because we want them to have some nice soft interior to contrast with that nice crispy exterior. So I'm gonna cut these into thirds. And you'll find they're a little bit sticky, which is good. You can cut them into um, wedges if you want. You could, I would do something like this. So be careful because they do want to kind of fall apart a little bit. And you might want to vary the time in the Instant Pot somewhere between, you know, eight and nine minutes because depending on the size of your potatoes, they'll cook up quicker, obviously, when they're uh, smaller. Now we'll take these over to the stove and brown them up. We are going to preheat a large frying pan over medium-high heat. So this is the part where the magic happens. This is where we get the golden crusty edge on these potatoes and makes them so special. And I'm going to add some olive oil to the pan and I'm going to add enough probably that it almost covers the bottom of the pan. That should do it. Now, I tried making these potatoes by boiling them, just to compare the difference between boiling your potatoes and cooking them in the Instant Pot. And I found the Instant Pot to be definitely superior to boiling them. The texture turns out much different. The Instant Pot version, you get this creamy interior potato that's just amazing, really. And then you get that cris crispy edge that we're gonna, we're gonna form right here in just a minute. In fact, I'm gonna start adding these while I talk to you. I'm going to lay the potatoes in the hot oil. And I'm going to wait a minute because it's not quite hot enough. And okay, so back to boiling them. When I boiled them, the interior didn't have that creaminess to it that these get. So if you can still make them, they're just going to be a little bit different texture and they're still good. 
All right, you can see the oil starting to get hot now, and we are gonna start adding more potatoes to our pan. And I like to leave a little room in between them so that I can work turning them over. And we're gonna keep our seasonings in this very simple. I'm just gonna season these up with salt, pepper, and garlic powder. Now, potatoes need plenty of salt in order to taste good. So I'm gonna add salt now to this batch. I'm gonna do this in two batches. It'll just be easier to cook them. But make sure you give them a nice little coating of salt. Now, that's all we're gonna add at the moment. Do not add your garlic powder at this point because it will just burn on the bottom of the pan. I'm just gonna go with a little bit of pepper at this point and we'll let them cook. And you'll start to notice brown edges around the potatoes. That's when you start checking to see how browned up they're getting. Okay, so let's have a peek. We'll see what's going on. This one here has that little crusty edge looking. Look at that, beautiful. I'm gonna let it go just a smidgen longer. Same with that one. There's gonna be hot spots. I know that in my pan. Some are gonna be done before the others. Now that one's nice. Did you see that? I really like that one. I'm gonna turn that one over. I got a hot spot over here. I'm gonna add some more salt to the ones that have, to the ones that have been turned over. Let's turn that one over and put a little salt on it. And basically, I like to just keep turning them over until I get a crusty edge on pretty much most of the potato. When they get to be where they're almost done, then I'll add the garlic powder because I just don't want that to burn and it does burn on the bottom. I learned that one from experience. Now you can add other seasonings to this, of course. One additional seasoning that you might want to add at the very end when they're done and they're still hot and a little bit, you know, oily is some Parmesan cheese. Freshly grated is amazing. Look how beautiful these look, nice and golden brown, and we're just about ready to take these off. So now is the point where I'm just going to sprinkle on a little more salt, a little more pepper, and the garlic powder. And now, if you wanted to add the Parmesan cheese, you could start grating it over at this point. And basically, we're done. Sometimes it looks nice to garnish this with a little bit of freshly chopped parsley, and then they're ready to go. These potatoes smell so amazing, I can't even tell you how good they are. I wish you guys could smell them. I smell the garlic, I smell the roasting of them. They are fantastic, make a great side dish for any, any meal you wanna put together. Um, these are just incredible. That crispy edge, mmm. I love these so much that I make, I've made them three times in the last week, no kidding. I can't stop eating them, they are so good. You must try them. This would go great with my lemon chicken oregano dish that I just put out last week. I'll leave a link for you. Check that out, make it with this. It's a quick meal, you'll love it. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you'll know when my new videos come out every week. Smash the like button for me and leave me a comment. All right, we'll see you next time.